morning, ladies. I trust you've begun your essays. And need I remind you that they are due in exactly one week? Yes, <laughs> Mr. Birdwell. Oh, I do look forward to reading them. Remember, they count for 45% of your final grade. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Sarah Jane. She doesn't waste any time. What a hussy. Seriously. Okay, later. Bye. Mm -hmm. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, than by opposing end them. To die. So how's it going with you and Mouse? No okay, more. I guess. I and really like him. I mean, he drives me crazy, but it, it's great. Have you guys kissed yet? Uh -huh. the name of action. Oh, thank you, Edwina. <laughs> to catch the conscience of the king. <laughs> Can anyone tell me why Hamlet thinks that this might work? <laughs> Let's not always have the same hands, people. Oh, all right. Edwina. He figures that by pointing out his parents' transgressions in a subtle way, everything will be brought out into the open, and then his mother will realize her mistakes, and all will be well again in Denmark. I love this play. Okay, so not that I care, and this is totally not a feminist issue, but do you think that I'm getting fat? I think I have a solution. I am, aren't I? I am. I am. I'm gonna let Dad know that he should know that I know what's really going on. And that should shame him into not abandoning us. I mean, whatever. Finn is out. Finn is out. Hi, Daddy. I'm flat broke chicken. Go ask your mother. Daddy, this isn't about money. Oh, really? Since when? This is about school. It's an assignment for Mr. Birdwell's class about divorce. Interesting. Did you know that 50% of all married couples are having affairs? 50%? Are you sure? Absolutely, I'm sure. Do you know what that means? No. 50 out of 100 couples are fooling around. Shocking, huh? Well, only if you're one of the couples not fooling around. <laughs> Dad, be serious for once, please. This counts for like half my grade. Okay. Okay, from your vantage point, why do you think married people have affairs? Oh, uh, well, uh, marriage is like a box of cereal. Uh, when you first open it, it's crunchy and tasty. Uh, but the longer you leave it open, it tends to get a little stale. And people get tired of eating the same cereal day after day. So marriage is like a stale box of grape nuts? Well, uh, somebody's Frosted Flakes today is somebody else's Raisin Bran tomorrow. I hope I've helped. I think I better talk to Mom. What did I do with that other laundry basket? Jeez. So, how much is this gonna cost me? God, why does everyone in this house think I'm a money-grubbing fool? Oh, you're doing this out of the kindness of your heart. My apologies. Mom, listen. Don't you think Dad's been spending an awful lot of time over at Aunt Marion's lately? Oh, well, Marion's been through a lot this year. She misses Charlie terribly. We all do. Yeah, but I mean, he, he's like at her beck and call. I mean, he is always over there, you know, mowing her lawn. Or That's a big up. house for a woman alone. So then why doesn't she move? Well, honey, I don't think she'll ever leave that house. Holds too many memories. How is she ever going to meet anybody new? You know, I think that she should just get out of town. She should just go on a cruise or something and not take...